Good afternoon, this is Tina and uh, in this in this video, this is gonna be the second video about the multi-key index bonds. Um, it's not actually totally related to multi-key index. It's actually related to the array. How MongoDB does a search if uh, the fields we are using to determine a document is using the array. Okay. And uh, a multi-key index it, in the official document it covers more than the videos and uh, I just uh, want to pick something I'm most the familiar one and give you some instruction and it actually have others uh, it's better if uh, it's better if you have time uh, you can take a look at the official document okay so here uh, inside our DB let me show you one scenario show collection here I'm gonna go to show you the values in this test column a uh, test collection here I have uh, x 35 12 and 95 right no matter I have in uh, index on this x or not the the result is gonna be the same okay doesn't matter if I have this index doesn't matter okay so the behavior is now I make a query greater than uh, greater than 25 okay less than 35 so here in this collection, I have three documents and now I'm making a query. The query I'm trying to do is X, okay. X, where well, I'm trying to using, which is a greater than 35. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's do the 25, okay. Okay, the X must greater than 25, but less than 55 and uh, as a human, okay, I probably think the result should have only has a 35, right? Because you see here, this one is greater than 55, and I expect it should be less than 55. So this one is not, but 60, uh, 35 is greater than 25 and less than 55 should be in the result. And the 12 is not uh, is 12 is less than uh, 25 so not 95 is greater than 55 so not right but when we see the result you will see this one is also include and we also can ask our mongodb how are you re uh, how are you process the query you will see here take take a look at this one very long okay when I make a query this is the query plan which is uh, how the MongoDB actually are running our query and we scroll down which is uh, the query we are trying to do is it has to match this condition and this condition right x is less than 20 is 55 and x is greater than 25 but when we go down go down go down go down go down see this one index bounds and there's another one index bounds this one which is has uh, the value like this i will go here and go to go go, go show you okay uh, my student told me how to do this one and this one is go to the left okay so when when uh, mongodb will be query on the database uh, query on an array it have something called this indexed bounds okay and for the x we are trying to he will have two one is minus infinity to what's the value 55 and you are using another bound which is this one x is uh, 25 and uh, in uh, infinity and uh, for mongodb uh, this bound this bound means uh, it, it will define the portion of the index 
for a query to search. Okay, you will define which portion of the index should I search for this particular query, and uh, for an array, the array, the, the, this the, this uh, filter, this filter condition we do he will do the this two, which is uh, uh, inside this array. Why is my array? Uh, this one, this one, this array, okay? Inside this array, do I have anything which is located in this part? Do I have? Which is between this minus infinity, which is the very negative 255? Yes, I have one, I have 12, right? 12, 12 is located in this uh, uh, kind of like a range, right? And I also have, if this doesn't exist, he was looking for another range, another bound, which is, do I have any uh, uh, number in this array? Do I have any number in this array which cannot be located in this range? Yes, I have 95. So what that means is, uh, even though I have this query x, This is a query we are doing, right? He was trying to see in this array, this is the document we have is this one, array is 1295. What he said, for the element, one the element match this condition, one the element match the other condition, then we are think it's good. It doesn't necessary one element has to match both of the condition, not like that. He is saying one element 12 match this condition. Yeah, sorry. This 12 match this condition. This is a bounds which MongoDB defined. And this 95 match this condition. So we have elements now which match two condition. Then we will return a result. Okay, that's the behavior. And because we, because uh, this is default behavior, and if we really want the element, the element match both of the condition, which in the bound, which is 25 uh, and 55, what should we do? I, yesterday when we do the ex exercise, we ac I actually uh, explained db dot item, uh, test, test, uh, col dot, uh, what's the thing? Uh, what's the thing? Okay, what's the thing? Oh, find. Okay, and I are using uh, x. Okay, you have to using. Do you remember this one? A element match. Uh, this is too bad to see. Okay, oh my god. Okay, let's use the mango. Mango, go get because that's hard to see. Mm match okay let's let's do it okay db dot test col dot find and now we go hey we don't have the oh, oh because the current db reference uh, test we have to go to a test db use uh test db and then uh now db is test db then we use db dot test col dot find we will get the result now we know based on our previous this one, right? It I we expected it should return this document, but it require uh, return both this one and this one, right? And this is caused by the uh, bound, uh, the query bound which MongoDB use, okay? And uh, if we really want to filter this out, what we need to do is using the find. And here we give x and we give element match. And then we use this one. Um, great then. 25 less than 55. And then we enter. A. Uh, oh, because when we do this operation, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be working on the array so this one is a filter out but this one is not an array we can do is insert another array insert okay. 
Oh, forgot to add the brace. Forgot to add the brace. Okay, insert it successfully. Now we do this search again. You will see this one, but you won't see uh, this one. But if I directly using X, if I directly using X, you will see three documents. Let's see this one also there because it's using this bond and one of the element match each bond is fine. We are there. It's using this bond. It's using this bond and the one element match each bond. Then we think it's correct. Okay. So that's it for this video. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.